Dear King, I call you King because throughout your life, obstacles you face and the environment you grow up in will make you question what you're really worth. In this photo, you're celebrating your third birthday at Chuck E. Cheese. From the look in your eyes, you're just happy to have your mom and dad by your side to celebrate it with. Your one birthday wish that year was to get the new super soaker to terrorize your older brother and neighborhood kids with. In your mind, life was perfect, and so was your family. But as you get older, you start to realize just how imperfect things truly are. You begin to notice the struggle and tension between your parents that you blame yourself for not seeing earlier because you could have used your one birthday wish on keeping your family together instead of the water gun. Eventually, they get divorced during the middle of your third grade year. From there, your life starts to spiral out of control. You start getting suspended from school all the time, breaking into homes, and even have to spend some time behind bars. Everybody thinks you're just a bad kid, but you're really just a confused and hurt kid crying out for help. When you're 13, you're gonna be introduced to the game of football. Now I'm gonna warn you ahead of time, you are gonna be terrible when you first start playing. But just stick with it, because not only are you gonna get better and fall in love with the sport, but football is gonna change your life and help you to change the lives of others as well. The environment you're gonna grow up in is gonna to be tough. You're gonna to witness things no kid should ever have to see. People being murdered, and friends swallowed up by the prison system. Sometimes you're going to question if it's even worth dreaming of one day playing in the NFL when your reality is such a nightmare. But I want you to dream and dream big. Your ability to understand at a young age that you're not a product of your environment, but rather a product of your expectations got you a full football scholarship to Penn State. You beat the odds. Your first two years at Penn State are gonna be a struggle. After suffering back-to-back season-ending injuries, you will notice everyone around you stops believing in you. You're gonna feel isolated, lost, and you're even gonna feel like giving up on yourself and your dreams. But you're gonna keep fighting because you know on the other side of pain is success. During your junior year of college, you're gonna receive a gift from God and your daughter Leah. She will be all the motivation you need to overcome your struggles. Your love for her and your desire to give her a better life helps you become the 53rd overall pick of the 2012 draft. You did it, Dev. You did it. Not too long after the draft, you meet the woman of your dreams, Asha. She's smart, beautiful, funny, everything you can want in a woman. She will be by your side through all of your struggles letting you know you don't have to fight them alone. Make sure you cherish her, love her, and treat her like the queen that she is. During your second year in the NFL, it's gonna feel like your world is falling apart. You're gonna battle a lot of injuries, some career-threatening, some life-threatening. To bring understanding to your life, you and Asha are gonna get baptized and give your lives to God. But just a couple of months later, your newfound faith will be tested when Leah is diagnosed with stage four cancer and given a 50% chance of survival. How can God let this happen to your daughter after giving your life to him? You will ask yourself. You become angry with him and even start to lose your faith. But you must continue to trust in God because not only will he bring healing to your family and daughter, but he will use your story to bring healing and hope to people all over the world. I wish I could tell you that things get better after Leah beats cancer, but it doesn't. After fighting to not lose your daughter, you end up losing something else you love, football. After 13 years of dedicating your life to a dream that you never get to enjoy, you decide to hang up your cleats. Walking away isn't gonna be easy. You will struggle with your identity and who you are without football. You're gonna feel like a failure, letting yourself down and letting your family down. You always dreamed of one day buying your parents their dream home, 
just to say thank you for all the sacrifices they made for you to live your dream. But that day never comes, and it eats you up inside. You're gonna go through so much at such a young age. Every time you get up, life is gonna find a way to knock you back down. But don't you give up, and don't you give in. Keep fighting for your family, keep fighting for your dreams, because there will come a day where nothing or nobody can stop your comeback and the blessings that God has in store for you. There is purpose behind your pain, and your testimony will show people all over the world that no loss is too great to stop their comeback. Because as long as you're alive, you're still in the game. It's game time, Dev. Let's work.